the channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as in this may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may god grant you your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen hey my people my lovely fans rita idoshi have come out to see what she went through ah my people you know this woman said that what she went through is what make her to summon judy austin so in the altar of uh, prophet odumeji <laughs> this woman said what she saw in the night after judy austin mother threatened her <laughs> she said it is not a small battle she said these two people came they were not even hiding their face they came to show her they came with their face you know such things when they come to attack you they will use people close to you they will use their face to attack you so you won't get to know where the attack is coming from but judy austin and the mother did not even hide their face for from um rita edoshi if you guys remember prophet odumoje told rita edoshi that they came to scare her they want her to be scared. So for that reason, they did not hide their face. They just came. Actress, our lovely actress, Rita Edo, she said, she just saw both of them. Like, she said, but they came with their face. It was their face. But she said what she saw, she cannot describe it. She said, especially Judy Austin. Huh? She said Judy Austin looked like a, a demon. Like, her body everything about that she said you see how you know that a demon if you can describe a demon he said that is how judy austin is in the spiritual world she said the mother is even better to look a little he said but judy austin the way she's tall and huge that's how she's huge in the spirit world that's how she's huge spiritually like she, she came with their face she said it was not if not that she was really prepared she really prepared because she know who they are she said it was not a little battle that it got to the extent that Judy Austin wanted to even turn and was trying to bend her neck like when she wake up it will not be like a stroke hmm, my people she said the Austin was trying to turn her against her wish and she was struggling she said it was not a little battle she was struggling with them she said it was struggle they were struggling they were fighting each other she said judy austin wanted to throw something like a stroke the way she did austin was bending the neck like so that when she wake up you know the mouth will bend and they will say she have stroke in the night not knowing that and when that stroke come you're not going to see Marty talk with you see for dream they'll call they talk oh, they, don't, they will not remember what what they are doing maybe oh, they will say something five minutes you ask them, they won't remember again that is what judy austin wanted to give rita edoshi my god but unfortunately for judy austin and the mother this woman survived this their harrow and now she have come out to disgrace them to expose them expose them immediately that night she said when they were coming she felt this cold in her body the whole house was so cold it was like in a matan and she said ha she was feeling heat why is everywhere so cold she have to get up and carry her holy water and her olive oil anointing oil she said she started pouring everything everywhere because her spirit was telling her something bad is going to happen this night and she said she did not even fall, fall asleep oh. you see the way god fight, fight for his children she said she was trying to cast sleep she said, sleep is not coming she was trying to like god was waking her up don't sleep don't sleep my daughter don't sleep my daughter she said after she sprayed the only the what only uh, the holy water and the anointing oil in the house she started feeling herself a little bit but she couldn't sleep she couldn't sleep she couldn't sleep she said that she her eyes was open when it was exactly two o'clock that people that are spiritual will start praying instead and that time the sleep they come as she just closed her eye she said she have not even finished closing her eye these two people don't appear they don't appear they started warning her she said to the Austin mother was trying to shook her hand into her eyes and she was blocking that hand. She was blocking that hand and Judy Austin was turning her, her own neck. She was using her own neck. When she turned her neck, then she, her own neck, will start, we want to be start turning. 
then she will control herself. Then she also will turn her own. Hey, my people, not be small battle. This woman said, wait till she see. It was tough. Say what she saw last night. She have not seen such a thing. And the worst part of it is that coming, both of them coming with their face to this woman. To tell this woman that, yes, this is who we really are. Since you want to know us. If you guys remember, Judy Austin mother told um, Rita Edoshi that she gives only one warning. She don't, she not the one person two times. She will give you only, the, her warning is only once. And then she will sit down and be looking at you. If you if you do any harm, she will strike. That's what she said. So she strike again after um, Rita do she continue supporting me. So this time around, the strike. She said, according to Rita do she, she said after Judy Austin was trying, Judy Austin was turning her own neck. Oh, then she that was struggling with it, her neck will be turning. The way Judy Austin is turning her own, Rita do she neck will be turning too. Hmm. But Rita, though she said she would be forcing her neck, she'll be forcing her neck. She said after the battle, after the struggle, then she saw a light. She saw one light. She don't she did not know where that light was coming. Then she was running towards that light. She was running towards that light. And Judy Austin she will be drawing her back. Like I don't know how to explain it. She's not touching her, but the way she moves her hand, like she's commanding with her hand. She, she said she also will be drawing her hand, will be moving her hand, and she will be drawing back. And she was forcing, like she was struggling. She was dragging herself, dragging herself, struggling, struggling until she got to the light. She said the moment she got to where the light is, the next thing she saw, both of them changed to big python and they disappeared. She said the next thing, the moment she was able to reach where that light was shining, when she turned back, the next thing she saw was two big python and they disappeared. That was how Rita Edo, she summoned Judy Austin quickly in the altar of Odumoje. And Odumoje ran that fire. Fire, fire, fire. They said the bomber fire today. That was where Judy, a prophet to Dumoji, exposed everything to Yule, to, to Rita Doshi. Because what prophet to Dumoji told Yule Doshi, it was secret. He told Yule Doshi that this woman, Judy Austin, have come to destroy you and your family. Not only you, all your family. So prophet to Dumoji exposed everything to Rita Doshi. And Rita Doshi stood. Prophet Tudumoje to please pray for me, Edoshe. That she know that me, Edoshe, is in danger. There is something that is telling her that that woman needs to be protected. That woman needs to be covered. Hmm. And according to what they said, they said if me, Edoshe, leave that home, Judy Austin will finish all, everything where she gets. Judy Austin will finish all. And the blame will be on me, Edoshe. So as long as Judy Austin, May Edoshe is still in that mansion, is still married to her husband, still under her husband, Judy Austin go to fear because he knows if he true true hand, ah, first one go second one go third one, they will hold you now. So that's why May Edoshe have to remain in a mansion, have to stay in her home. That is why Rita Edoshe keep on saying to me, Edoshe, don't leave your home for any woman. Don't go away from your home because Prophet Odumoji have told uh, Rita Edoshe to tell me, Edoshe, to remain in her home. If she go, these people will come for her. They've come to destroy. They are destroyer. They are destroyer. And those my fans, a fan told me that I should talk about what I said. I remember, I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. I will give you the full gist of how, when somebody have the kind of possession that Judy Austin have, it is different from being an Ogbanji. It's different from being a Mami Water. It's two different things. Ogbanji and Mami Water, they are not the same thing. They are not. It's just like Olokun. Uh -huh. If you are from Edo State, you know this really these people that serve what they call Olukun is different. So they, they are these old things, this water spirit is works in different ways. You see this of Judy Austin. Judy Austin own different. So I will explain that in my next video and tell you people how all these things work. So that a lot of people will know about it. You see this Judy Austin. Judy Austin is into <laughs> Judy Austin is not just possessed. 
she was born with the spirit to destroy she have destructive spirits this did not start with Judy Austin today it started from her early youth she said it with her mouth not it's not me that is saying it she said she grew up uh, she said her childhood was a very difficult childhood because they said every children in her class they were withdrawing them all mothers were withdrawing their children for Judy Austin because anyone when he talked to Judy Austin or oh, he's sick or oh, wanting to go do one calamity or poor calamity all the children we did the class no one way they okay no one Anyone that touched you, the Austin, anyone that offended you, the Austin is a problem. So that's why she, so she has said it that her childhood was very difficult. Yes, because of this evil that she's she carrying. Her own is evil. Evil. That's why the Edoche family, when they were doing, uh, when Kambili Shuku be a ripe, when they were trying to find solution to everything, they told them that somebody entered into your family. This person is wearing black cloth, a dark cloth cover this person, and the person have come to destroy. So anything, anywhere that Judy Austin go, that spirit of destruction is already in her, and the mother is backing her up. So my people, this is what Rita Idoshi said though, that happened to her. She said that is the reason she summoned Judy Austin's spirit and soul in the altar of Udumoche. And the next thing when you hear Judy Austin begin shout fire, fire for um movie industry. Because they don't call her name for where she knows expects. My people, <laughs> we have to be very careful. Not be everybody where they waka, now be human being. Not be everybody where they waka, now they smile. Some people you see them, they are human outside. Inside, we don't know the animal they are. So please, we should really be careful. If you know you are not strong, if you know you don't, I did talk, if I say it now, people will say, I'm praising Judy Austin. I'm saying Judy Austin have power. I'm telling you because it's not only Judy Austin, a lot of them are walking around our midst. If you know you don't believe in God, you don't believe in Allah, you don't believe in Juju self, you don't deserve anything, be very careful. Be very careful. You guys see, even Josephine Edoshi that believe in God, pray every time. But she don't have that power, spiritual power that Rita Edoshi have. You see what happened to her? We've not heard about Josephine Edoshi for some time now. Eh? That woman used to come out to fight for her son. By this time, she forgot to throw one to Judy Austin. But now, we have not heard from her ever since that thing happened to her. So, we have to be really careful. So guys, I will end this video here. Leave your comments in the comment section. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have you subscribed? Please subscribe to this channel. So do so may God bless you in Jesus name. Inshallah. Amen. Thank you for always watching my video.